Oh, hey, what's going on? It's Willie Chill. I just wanted to come in and call you on some nonsense today. So I have been working with a ton of artists over this past year, and there has been one thing that I think has really stood out over this past 12 months, and it's that I think all y'all just don't really get it. Over the last year, I've talked to all these artists, and they're all saying, hey, you know, music is, is definitely plan A for me, but I'm gonna be honest, it definitely doesn't feel like it is plan A. It feels like it's plan B. And by the ways that you've set up your monetization strategies, the ways that you've built your brands, the ways that you're trying to market yourself, they're all a bunch of bull. You know, and I don't really wanna be the one to say this to you, but I think somebody needs to say it. So, you know, if you're spending all this time in the studio, but not doing all the research on how to run your business, I'm not sure that music is plan A. I think it's plan B. You know, and you say you wanna go full time with your music, but you're not setting up any infrastructure in order for you to generate some sort of ROI or be able to even make money off of your music outside of streaming. I'm not really sure that I genuinely understand that motive. You know, you say you need a team, but you don't have a vision. So what's a team supposed to do without a vision? From you, the creative, right? The person who's supposed to be driving this engine, driving this machine forward, and you just want a team to come in and create the vision for you and then reap the rewards? I genuinely don't think that's how it works. You need to take a hold of the vision, be able to see beyond where you're at right now, be able to help that team see what you see so that you can all work together towards one goal. You say you're focused, but you don't know how to post on socials. What? Like, what are you, what are you doing? It doesn't make any sense. You wanna communicate with people, but you aren't even taking the first few steps in order to start that basic level communication. And if you don't know how to package your product in a way that makes sense for the masses on even your own personal socials, how could a team come in and help that? You know, maybe we can give you some guidance on how often to post, but if you're not willing to go above and beyond and actually see how you can start communicating with new customers and new fans. There's only a limited amount of stuff that a team can do. You need to be able to step outside of your comfort zone, outside of your box in order to create that community. And that's the only way that this is really going to work is if you stay focused, you drive towards one goal and you start communicating. This is one I hear all the time. If only I could market myself, then people would know that I'm here. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, you know, doing the digital marketing here for Artist Collective, I can tell you that 99% of people out there, 99% of artists, just aren't ready for marketing. And let me tell you why. You know, you have this brand, maybe, you think you have a brand, maybe. So you've got this idea of, oh, I'm a little bit vulnerable, or I do this, or I do that, but you've not really maybe created any content that's derivative of those things. And if you have, maybe you've only done a little bit. That's genuinely what I see all the time. And if you do create content that's more oriented towards your stuff, most likely you're probably inconsistent with that posting. You're just not keeping up on a regular basis in order to feed into the algorithm in order to get what you need. So, that being said, how do you get to market yourself, right? <laughs> you take the steps to build that brand, to build that content, to build that offer so that you can generate return on investments, so you can generate money, generate revenue into your ecosystem so that you can reinvest back into your brand. Reinvest back into the music because we all know how much money it takes in order to get to where we wanna go and marketing isn't free, let alone if you work with an agency. So either you're A, spending on the ads or B, you're spending on the team to help you run the ads. And if you are spending on the team, you should know what you're marketing. And the team's not just gonna take you on if you don't have anything to offer. So you need to be able to pay them and pay yourself back. And that comes from developing a really good offer. And the way that you sell something more than just your music is to build a brand that's built off authenticity, right? <laughs> and then you communicate this message with your fans via social media content or emails. You're doing all of these things and you're trying to communicate your message to the masses. <laughs> and I'll be honest, it doesn't seem like any of y'all are doing that. <laughs> y'all just wanna make music and call it good. And I'm just not sure that's good enough in 2022. Just not, you know, 80,000 songs uploaded every single day. And you think that just making good music is good enough? Sure, I say it all the time. I think anomalies happen, people get lucky, 
you know, success is the crossroads of preparation and opportunity, right? If you're in the right place at the right time and this opportunity happens to just come knocking, sure, maybe if you made just good music, that that could work. But I'll tell you what, it doesn't work like that in the real world. Go buy a lottery ticket, I can guarantee you that. You probably won't get a huge winner on that first one. So what you need to do is be consistent and you need to really tap into that community because ultimately it's up to you to build the vision, right? It's up to you to stay focused in order to get to where you want to go. Because in 2022, I can guarantee you that a team isn't going to be the only factor that gets you where you need to go. Now again, I will say it, I think that a team can really, really help. Just like what we do here, building brands and building content strategies that work and getting offers that convert to an ROI and then scaling to a point where you can talk to many people, millions of people all at once, makes sense. Definitely want to work with a team, no questions asked. But can they take you there on their own? Most likely not. Most likely you're going to need something in your head that you can pull out and build into a full on plan. I'm tired of artists coming to me and saying, hey, I think I just need a team. That's all I'm got. That's, you know, that's it. I think I, you know, I don't know what else to do, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> it's not how this works, man. Like you, you've got to figure this out on your own got to be able to take the steps that are necessary to build your plan and then let's take it out to the masses. Let's talk to people and let's get them to open up. Let's get them to communicate with you about everything that you believe in. Let's drive that authenticity home. Let's help them see the true you and let's build out a community of people who truly care about you. Those super fans. Build that environment for people to want to attract themselves to. You know, you think about any of the biggest brands that you consume, everything from, let's say, the type of shampoo that you use to the type of cereal you buy, right? A lot of times you're consuming those things because you believe in what the brand believes in. More than just the product and how it makes you feel, too, there's stories behind what you buy. Maybe it's supposed to make you a little healthier. It's supposed to make you a little bit more shiny with your hair. Whatever it is, whatever that outcome goal is, you should be able to provide that within your own brand. Now, maybe you're not making people healthy or you know, helping their hair shine, but there is something. There's something that you do really well that you need to be able to communicate out to the people. What, do you, what stories do you want to tell? How do you want to change people's lives? If it is through your music, what in your music really drives people? What should you do in order to get them to listen to your music? You can't just drop your music anymore. That's just genuinely not how this shit works. So, this all being said, <laughs> don't worry. This is your year. We're going to go out and kill it. This is us. We're going to do this together. Don't worry about not having it all together at first. The first step is to take a first step. Create something. Grow to that consistency. Start driving towards something that feels authentic. Look around in your ecosystem and figure out if there's an offer. See if there's something that you think you do better than anyone else. And then go find a team to help you scale that offer. I'm Willie Chill. I work for Artist Collective. Happy to be a resource in this industry. You know, I'm a firm believer over collaboration, over competition. I think the idea of sharing resources so that the party is bigger at the top when we're all there is definitely core to who I am, what this company believes in, and how we want to help artists. So shoot me a DM. Let me know what you've been struggling with. What part of this? Is it your brand, your social content? Do you not have an offer? Are you, you think you're ready for marketing? <laughs> it's a trick question. Let me know in the comments. See ya.